anyone who watched the Big Ten Network uh, thing the other day uh, saw that you're know, pretty vocal. How do you bring that into the field? Like, is that like by design? Is, can you even? It's it's your brand. It's who you are, man. Like I was told guys, when you go to the airport, you know what they ask you for. You know, ask for your ID and look at you, they look at you, look at you, and take your hat off and show who you are. So. Every day we come on the football field, you gotta have that mindset and mentality and the guys speed up and, and I think guys know real is real and you know, one thing I am, I'm a real dude. So, uh, just being you. Do you want, do you see that uh, it gives these guys an edge a little bit? You, yeah, know? you wanna play with an edge, you wanna yeah. be on the edge, you know? Edge of, you know, chaos and psych, you know, psychotic a little bit, you're gonna be in that type of intensity and that type of mentality you want on the football field. And uh, a lot of guys don't really understand these opportunities uh, are playing college football, there's no better feel, energy in the world than going to that football field and getting an opportunity. And I don't want my guys to play with, uh, you, know, you know, motivation. I don't want my guys to play with desperation. I heard a great coach say that before, and, and that's always stuck with me in my mind. Who was the coach? I can't say his name. <laughs> <laughs> He's a high school coach. Oh, okay. <laughs> but he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> How would you assess uh, your starting owners play in the camp so far? Uh, they've been great, man. Uh, Damon Hayes, big, strong, athletic, uh, you know, freaky looking corner. Uh, Great man to man, great eyes, pre snap communication, and just he's a different guy. Uh, I think David Hayes is going to shock a lot of people across this country. One of the best I've been around. And she was at Georgia with DeAndre Baker, was there. It was a lead last year with Steve Nelson and, and Kendall Fuller and all those guys. And, you know, Dame athletically and talented, and he's just as, you know, as good as any of them. He's just got to keep bringing himself every single day and uh, keep bringing himself up to that. And Avery Young, which I've all heard, you know, is probably going to run for president in uh, 20, 30 something. But uh, Avery's awesome. Yeah, great guy to be around. You know, his tenacity is, and his energy is infectious. And he's talking about just being a playmaker around the football 24 7, punching the ball out, INTs, screaming, yelling. And, and, and I don't know it's more psychotic than him on the football field. But uh, two great guys to be around, two of the best I've been around. And they can't wait to put on a show, you can I. What can that year at safety do for him now that he's back in corner? Well, oh, he, understand, he understands the big picture. Yeah. He understands the flow rate. Right. Once, you know, if uh, two guys are vertical, one guy's pushing in, he knows when to push the post. He has a good feel for playing off. He knows, you know, Dame's got a good all-around feel for the game. And, and uh, talking about a kid who really loves the game, I mean, you get texts from at 12.30 at night, Damon Hayes asking, you know, what about this round? What about this release? I mean, this guy, you know, he's in love with the game. He's not a ball player who just plays the game because he's good. I mean, he, he's in love with it 24-7, and he's special when it comes to that. How do you feel about the depth behind those two? Depth is good. As, you know, Troy Avery's coming along, uh, getting healthier and healthier. He, he, he's a dynamic athlete. He's fast. Uh, explosive as they come, and uh, just him progression, you know, his progression uh, over the last couple of weeks is getting better and better. Kassan Abraham's really stepped up as well. Kess is, at, you know, he's had some ups and some downs in camp, but right now he's on a great up. He's playing well at nickel and corner, and uh, he can be really good player. Uh, Kobe, you know, Marco, he's done a good job. Older guy, getting better and better and better. Ronnie's done a really good job as well. Two young bucks, you know, Darius is big, tall, great length, and good size. He's got to keep going on his technique, and Don Williams is a psychopath. And, I love him. You know, Donald's been playing with the You know, I want to say educated feet, you shoot hands, and, and he, he plays with, uh, you know, edge, kind of like Avery Young does. And I love being around guys like that. Would Kassar be the, the one in case something that Trey can't go? Yeah, I mean, those two are fighting for the spot. You know, Cass is, you know, he's from Brooklyn as he holds down in the concrete jungle as he holds down. So he has that tenacity. And he's more than ready to play nickel or the corner. And, and Trey, be athletically, when he's healthy and he's locked in, you know, there's. I don't know, there's too many guys across the country who are as fast, I think, or as talented as him. So bringing it all together, once you get everything mixed back in, it's going to be really something special. How do you compare uh, working for Coach Ash as a coach versus playing for him as a player? Uh, it's different. You know, obviously as a player, I'm, uh, you know, I'm about that life as a football player. So it's different now uh, from that aspect. But as a coach, great guy to work for. Yeah, you know, a great guy talking football with because I'm a football geek. I've uh, worked with a lot of other great coaches in the past. Obviously, I was with Kirby Smart and Andy Reid last year and being with those guys and being with another great coach like Curse Ash and how much is, you know, real love for the players is something really special. And, but his intellectual ability and in, in, understanding the whole entire game from a big picture uh, is just as good as anybody I've been around. And, uh, you know, he's great to talk ball with because he's a ball geek just like me, and, and uh, it's good, man. Well, how would you compare you to himself as a defensive backs coach? Uh, I'm crazier. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think the intensity uh, is very similar but different. Uh, uh, two different things that, that, that work well, different, two different ways about going about it. Uh, Coach Ash really was breaking down the game, so do I. But just on the football field, as you can see, uh, maybe I, I push the boundaries a little differently than him. And, uh, but he's a great guy to play for. He's an amazing DB coach. And learning from him and adding to my repertoire has been something really special.
Time for a final question. You uh, experienced the ultimate, you know, at Georgia, yeah. being like, you know, playing, com competing for a national championship. Right. You're now in a program that was one in 11, but seems right. to be trying to get confidence. What are the differences between those two programs, and how does Rutgers, not saying that they're going to get yeah. for a national yeah. championship, but how does Rutgers play with that confidence it's and that edge? It's the word you said, it's confidence, right? I think confidence and belief. Some of these dudes you see on this team are as talented as I see, you know, across, I mean, like I said, this, you look for my room, Damon and Avery, I'll take them versus anybody. You know, just real is real, I'll take them versus anybody. I'm confident in those two as any other cornerback in, in, in the country, I believe in them. And, and it's one thing when the coaches believe in the players, and the players believe in the coaches, and just having that will. You know, the first year at Georgia, we were eight and five, and, and we weren't all on the same page. And then next thing you know, the confidence came in, the guys started really believing, and, you know, working with guys like Noah Joseph in backfield, feeling like, a young Danny Glover and the weapon between me and him. And, uh, you know, just really believe in those things with each other and fighting has been something really special. Our linebackers are amazing and, and our D-line's coming along and our safeties are great and, and our depth, as Nojo was talking about you know, earlier, is, is something really special. So I think the number one thing is confidence and belief. And, and one thing, as our coaching staff, 100% we do, we believe in our guys. Our guys believe in us. we got a chip on our shoulder to show the world. So, excited. Thanks. Good. Good. Appreciate you